What's going on guys, moon 3 po here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the next big prospect in all of baseball, that being Kristen Campbell from the Boston Red Sox. If you guys saw my latest video, if you guys haven't, I'll leave a card down in, around here somewhere and leave a link down in the description down below. But you guys know, I talked about the Red Sox big three being promoted to AAA, that being Marcelo Meyer, Roman Anthony, and Kyle Teal. But now it should be considered the big four with Kristen Campbell. He was killing it down on AA, he now has made the rise up to AAA as well following those three guys. So in this video, we're going to be going over what he did in double A, the big strike that he's made to his recent call up and also take a look at his card market because uh, as a card collector, this might be a good time to get in or if you have a stack of his cards, maybe a good time to sell. But of course, do want to preface here, this is not meant to be taken as financial advice. Anything I do or say here, please take all this information here with a grain of salt. I'm not telling you to go out and buy all of his autos and uh, hopefully he becomes the next big thing or as I title the video here, uh, the next Barry Bonds or you know, to, if you have his cars to sell them, I'm not telling you to do that. So please make your own financial decisions and please do your own research. So with all that being said, let's dive deep into the video. So the next Barry Bonds, I know that is a crazy thing to say. Barry Bonds, in my opinion, is the greatest player of all time. Steroids or no steroids, he is considered, he is considered the greatest player of all time and in my opinion is the greatest player of all time and should be in the hall of fame but that's a different video for another time so being considered compared to barry bonds is absolutely crazy but roman anthony here said they are calling him barry bonds and here's a quote that came from a recent article here that was done by mass life i believe uh link will also be down in the description down below if you want to check out that article uh, we call him barry bonds just because of how good of a hitter he is anthony said of campbell last week he's a great player he's a freak athlete and like i mentioned here he's had a crazy rise here within the last month or so so he finally broke into Baseball America's Top 100, being ranked number 98 in the August update. I am recording this late in August. I would suspect by September, he will be in the top 50. Baseball America really looks at recent trends. So if you're killing it, they're going to put you higher. If you're struggling, they're going to drop you down below. So like I meant, and we'll dive deep into the numbers. So I would expect him to be top 50 with the way he's performing at AA and the way he's performing up in AAA right now. Um, he finally did crack MLB Pipeline as well. He's ranked 79th um, in their midseason update. And by MLB as well, he's ranked the fifth top prospect in the Red Sox farm system along with Sox prospects. If you're a Red Sox friend and not aware of Sox prospects, I would highly recommend you guys check them out. That's where I get a lot of my information from. Also, link with you down description down below. So you can see here, he's top five Red Sox farm system. He's breaking it here in the overall MLB farm system. So it's a player you want to keep an eye on here moving forward. So let's take a look here at his frame. So he is 6'3 and currently sits at 191 pounds. He is 22 years old and was drafted in the fourth competition round and the 132nd pick in 2023. So that just proves. And that was a stat class. You had Dylan Cruz, Walker Jenkins, Paul Skeens. But it just proves here, you know, when you're trying to evaluate players or looking at players for the next big thing, you know, they're not always going to come out of the first round. So if you're into this kind of stuff, it's always important, you know, to take a deeper dive into it and maybe find some players that are a diamond in the rough. Um, right now, he's currently positioned at second base in center field. With that big frame, I would expect him to go in the outfield. I think he's a little bit too large for a second baseman, but that is my opinion. So I would expect him to play center field, you know, once he eventually gets a call up to the MLB. Now, let's take a look to see what he did. Um, once he got drafted, they threw him straight to the Complex League and to A-ball. So you can see here, Complex League, that's basically where... Uh, the scrubs play, so you can say he coded down there and it went up to the A ball um, and performed pretty well. Hit 267, walk percentage was pretty good, sitting at 12.7%. K percentage was a little bit high, and that was a big thing with his game so far was going to be the strikeout percentage, striking out nearly 30%. So it is a little bit alarming here for a player at his age because he is a little bit older compared to some you know other top prospects here, even in the Red Sox front system or outside of baseball. So striking out nearly 30 percent a little bit higher but was getting out on a good on base clip and was hitting for power so we see here the iso sitting at 156 i've always said here to look for 200 so he's almost there bap up 355 woba 385 and a wrc plus of 132 so 2024 entering this year had some big strikes here eight home runs scored 29 runs drove in 25 um, 26 walks 47 strikeouts doesn't steal a lot of bags until he got to double a at the speed here increase um, average over 300 and then we see the biggest improvements in my opinion is going to be the walk percentage 14.7 percent k percent is still a little bit high but still when you're kind of close with the numbers here it is pretty impressive that he's walking at that clip i um, had an on base percentage of 418 slugging at 558 and ops of 976 and the iso at 252 i just mentioned here you want to look for 200 his iso was 252 
BAPUP 398, WOBA 438, and a WRC Plus of 172 with 13 doubles. And then slowly got the call up to double A, had 56 games under his belt, same amount of home runs, sitting at eight home runs, 35 RBIs, and higher average here, 362 batting average, 13.7 walk percentage. The K percentage, it decreased to 14.9%. So I don't know if something just clicked, if he's seeing the ball better, I don't know. But that's something that you love to see, 14.9% um, on base percentage, sitting at 463, OPS over 1,000. ISO a little bit lower, but still over 200. Bap up sitting at 411. Woba sitting at 466. And a WRC plus close to 200. And just now here in AAA, um, he's already had a multi-homer game. He multi-homered last night um, on, on Friday. So two home runs. He scored three, nine RBIs already, 467, 6.3 uh, walk percentage, 12.5%. And the thing here for me that I like with AAA is I because, you know, they have a little bit more technology and a little bit more advanced and a lot more eyes. Uh, we can finally start seeing the hard hit percentage. So we can see here 53.8%. So basically what that means is any hit ball or base hit is over uh, 95 miles per hour. So he's hitting the ball hard, which is the, why he got the comparison to Barry Bonds because he hits the ball extremely hard and a WRC plus of 264. So something clicked here where he's just killing the ball and is making good strides here offensively. Now let's take a look here at the card. So he was entered into the 2023 Bowman draft set. Uh, this is just a raw, I, again, there's so many different cards that you can look at different parallels. I always just like looking at base autos and refractor autos out of 499. That's just my personal opinion, but you can look at different things. So you can see here the recent rise and the trend. Um, Back in December, when the set here was uh, shortly after the set had released, you could have bought his base autos for less than $5, which is crazy. His refractors were selling for about $13, less than $20. That's just absolutely crazy. Uh, 99 cents. These are sales here that you can find on Market Movers. Link down in the description down below for them if you want to check them out. Not affiliated with them in any way. Um, this is what I just like using. But crazy and you just look at it so if you're buying these you're stacking these here for you know eight dollars five dollars ten dollars um we had a refractor sell over for 31 dollars but you're stacking these and now you see the recent rise here what he's done in june refractor sitting at 45 dollars um uh raw sale here of the base sitting at 16 dollars and then we had a little bit of a weird dip here don't know what that all is about but now we sit we're sitting at 50 dollars here for for a raw sale and then we have here the refractor sitting at $79.50. And then still again, $49, $49. And then, of course, with the recent rise of AAA, we're sitting at $45 and then sitting at $81. And now looking at PSA 10 of the base auto. Uh, for some reason here, there I don't know if there's any PSA 10s of the refractors out of 499. It's only giving me PSA 9. So we can take a look at those. Nothing too crazy, though. I think it was only like one sale for 100 bucks. But see here, PSA 10, there's a pop 15 right now. We see here 125. 75 80 and then uh 2250 that was back in march of 20 i honestly think a 125 sale um on august 12th i think that's a basically a steal in my opinion but you can see here there's just a recent rise here we see a 15 dollar change and then let's go look at it raw here 81 dollars 32 dollar change so yeah this is just crazy and then again just kind of keeps you it what you got to keep in mind here is if you have a stack of players or and you're trying to get into prospects, you know, start looking at charts, start going through team by team, start looking for a player that's killing it. I would highly, highly recommend if you're trying to get into this, look at Baseball America. I pay for the subscription for them. Um, and I, every day when I go to bed, when I wake up in the morning, you know, I live and breathe this stuff. I love baseball. So I'm constantly, consistently looking at players who are coming up, players that are, you know, going downward that you may want to sell or maybe even buy. And Kristen Campbell, I do have my own little sack of his cards. So um, I'm sitting pretty good right now. And I thought, hey, for fun, let's just take a look at eBay right now to see what it's doing right now. I just typed in Kristen Campbell Auto. So we have our first Bowman here sitting at 76. This bid is ending an hour uh, today. I might also keep an eye on that. I'm probably going to heart that right now. Um, we have a PSA 10 sitting at 32.50, 18 bids, uh, raw 169, uh, refract the refractor here out of 499, 373 out of 499, refractor sitting at 159. So, um, yeah, you can see here people are taking advantage of it. This probably was just recently uh, 329 for an chrome refractor 150 mojo refractor uh, sitting out of 150 for 219. And let's just take a look at here at what sold. It's always look at those are just what it's going for. Let's take a look here to see what's sold. So, there we have some of the listings here 75, 89, 
Uh, PSA 9, Pop 16 went for 216 on an auto blue wave for 150, 113. Um, these are the actually the day I'm recording this, August 24th, 84. So yeah, you can see here they're ranging from you know anywhere from eight from 80 to 100 bucks onwards. So again, you know if you have these players or any player, that's just specifically Campbell himself, but any player that's just killing it, Dylan Cruz has got the call up as well. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some you know people taking advantage of that. So it's always good if you have these players, you know you have a stack. And they're killing it is always is the best time to potentially sell so overall Kristen gambo is a player you want to keep an eye out here moving forward again like i mentioned here i do have my own stack of his cards so i am keeping them on the side probably gonna send them off to psa pretty soon um so uh be on the lookout here for that video or the other videos here that i post on my other social medias link down description below if you guys want to see those psa grades um with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this breakdown of Kristen campo or any other future prospect free feel free to leave a like and leave a comment down below do you have your own stack of Kristen campo cards are you looking to get some more Christian Campo cards, sign them in the comments down below. Um, and if you guys didn't see the last video I posted, um, I did launch a baseball card, baseball podcast type thing. So if you guys want to check that out, um, links again, also in the description below, available on Spotify and Apple. Uh, should have an episode coming out this week. So keep an eye out there for that, where we talk everything ball and cardboard. So I do thank you guys for watching and listening, and stay tuned for the next one.